Let's see. There we go. Hi, my name is Mike Exner. I like to make these lamps. I call them second verse lamps. I call them that because it's their second life. Their first life was, of course, on the first verse when they were actually played instruments. Uh, now, I give them a repurposed life as a lamp. That's why I call them second verse lamps. Uh, these are all lamps that were uh, playable at one time, but uh, they have found themselves uh, broken or, or damaged or uh, broken beyond repair that would be worthwhile to build and fix back. Anyway, uh, they all make uh, very beautiful lamps, and I would like to show you how I make them. In most cases, I like to find a good solid base. Uh, Usually I prefer something like granite, okay? Uh, there's all kinds of granite that you can find, dark and light, there's just all kinds. And sometimes I make the bases out of wood. You'll see these over here, this is wood, and this one over here are wood. Uh, usually wood works good with wood instruments. All right, uh, sometimes uh, I need to change the shape of the instrument itself. If you notice the saxophone here, I flattened out the bottom so that the saxophone can be uh, steady and uh, glued to the bass. And notice that over here on the, uh, on the guitar, if I did not cut that bass, that guitar would rock and work itself free. So I want to cut the bass. I really want the essence of the instrument itself. As far as acquiring the instruments, I like to go on eBay. Uh, eBay, uh, I can type in the word uh, clarinet parts, or saxophone parts, or broken uh, guitar, or broken saxophone, and I'll find these instruments at a very uh, discounted price. Um, the, uh, the instruments themselves are all not playable, and uh, that's the only way that I will make those instruments into lamps, is that they're not playable. Here's uh, Here's a base with a hole in it, and notice that I have these pads here, and I'll set that down. And this is a, a, an old clarinet, this is an old military clarinet, and that would be right there, something similar like that. And then you'll have this rod and a lamp kit. You can buy lamp kits just about anywhere. This looks like it's a little crooked right now, but I'm going to go ahead and set this in. Okay, something like this. And you would have it similar to this. And then you would put a bulb on there. And something like this you would have here. And uh, then you would run the cord through. And of course, I have, I would thread it through on the bottom. And I would use some, uh, some JB Weld epoxy glue. Basically, that's what you do. It's not very difficult. Uh, it does take some practice. It takes a little patience. Um, uh, through the years, I have sold these instruments at uh, craft fairs. They're a lot of fun. I have a lot of fun making them. It, uh, if anybody who visits my house, they would see I have an instrument in every room, instrument lamp. It's all good fun. I want you to have fun too. Thank you.